Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Volvo FH750 Longline by uh, Viennata Bisma, Bismania Lock, I think it is. Sorry if I said that wrong, but that's a big mouthful, that one is now. Um, this is interesting. Uh, you can see the actual VH, the Volvo model, has been used here. It's been stretched. So, you can see the stretch there. Now, then the, then what's been added is this other big... Well, it looks like a box to me. Um, which... Uh, I would have thought... See, on the top, it's just metal. I mean, I suppose that's okay, but I would have thought checker plate or something like that looks pretty good. But anyway... Um, that is, there's a big hole in the back too, if you can't see that just there. Uh, we'll have a look at that later. So, let's get into the custom configuration and check this out. So, first of all, we have a look at the cabins. Now, this is the first cabin there. It looks like something from the circus to me. Um, then there's this one here, which is the standard one. But again, there's a hole in the back there, so... Stretched the back part here, but didn't stretch that, so um, that's a shame. Uh, then we go off to the Globetrotter XL, which has been stretched properly, the back there and the, the thing there. So that's good. Let's stick with that one for now. Now, let's go on to the actual chassis. Now, there's the chassis that goes with that one and it's the 4x2 but when you go to the chassis for 6x2 you notice that there's something seriously wrong with this truck so I'm not sure what's happened there uh, looks like he's got all the model on that for the axle but when it came to the wheels itself he didn't shift them back properly or the person who did it didn't shift it back properly um, that's a shame uh, you go to the actual chassis 6x2x4 by by uh, which is, there we are, there have it there, and it seems to fit in there nicely. Now, for the actual other ones here, they don't fit in at all nicely. So, let's, let's put this one on here, and we'll see how it goes. Now, you, you note that also as well that the, the, the actual truck has been dropped down, so it's like riding on its nose. So, yeah, I, I guess it. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or not, but it. I don't know. It looks a little bit strange to me, but never mind. Uh, let's go off to the actual engines. Now you've got a wide range, wide range, a wide variety of engines. We've got the 420, 460, 460, uh, 500, 540, 540, 600, 700, and 750, ranging from the Euro 5 and the Euro 6. So it gives you a nice variety of engines there. Then we have the gearbox. You only get the 12 speed uh, standard and then the retarder. Then with the interior. Now straight away I noticed something was up. We're missing a whole heap of interior here on the side. So there's a door bits and pieces missing there. The dash is missing. Um, over there and also down there and you see there there's buttons just floating in the middle of space um, that's a real shame that shows that uh, it was a rush job um, that's a pity because this could be a lot more now here we have the red there is where textures uh, there's no textures there for it so before we had here it looks like to me no textures were assigned and here it looks like that the textures were assigned but there's no textures for it to pick up so that's a bit of a shame there that really is now we go to the exclusive um, tassel things on the side um, that's that's I, I don't see this in Australia but I, I think it's weird it's probably something that's to certain parts of the world but anyway but you can see here that this truck has got the dash 
modeling done here and the textures are applied to it as it should be so then we go and this way it actually looks very nice I actually like this like this I like this like this uh, I do like the way that it looks is what I'm trying to say <laughs> uh, then we go off here and unfortunately again you can see that these textures are they're missing for this side so I'm not sure why the, you know they're missing but anyway uh, obviously they thought that if it works on this side it's going to work on this side well no different textures you just need to flip them over um, then we have the paint job out the side here um, you get the standard paints the stormy blue the bronze autumn the sun sunlight silver black knight and the deep aquamarine now this one here is the Ren Kerensky whatever it is I don't know but look at it that is just what's that three billion five hundred that's stupid why would you make a, a skin cost that much seriously it's not that good anyway so why would I pay that much I mean I like that the emblem there uh, that guy there now I would have stuck that there and I have it overlapping over that part there and if I wanted to get really technical I would have had him streaming down there down the side but this is how it's been done and there you go I don't even w know what that word says there have no idea um, what does that say no idea anyway um, there's a little Volvo badge up the top there I mean that just the way as it is right there looks you know not too bad but as soon as you go adding some other colors in here it just doesn't look right at all um, so you've only got the one choice and that's it really to make it look nice then we have one thing hang on let's go back to the engines quickly oh there we go it does change there we go I was just checking to see if it changed that little stamp on the side there um, then we go back to accessories now with this here you can put on accessories so you can put on the actual lower grill guard now I mean I'm gonna put that one on there um, oh, I suppose that one there or that one no let's leave it on that one now when you come here to ball bar it doesn't remove that one there it just goes over the top of it um, that sort of goes over the lights it's you know it's I, I don't know that just looks totally not right to me you know you've got two bull bars there by rights you should remove that bull bar and have this one in its place but it won't let you you've only got that's it all you've got is these ones that is all now there you've got a double bug catcher look at that big fly swatter anyway um, so y you remove that one and then you can go off to other things like the steps of course uh, painted I'm going to put on painted or chrome whichever one you want let's zoom in and see no it's just the standard paint there and then for the mirrors you can go paint and chrome uh, an option for the whole thing to be painted would have been nice but anyway that's no big deal the visor there you go you can go to town on the visor uh, put in what you want at least it gives you that option where you can put in whatever you want oh yeah get rid of that mirror that's all good we can put on here the long mirror so there we go so that's you know that's looking okay um, then up here we get the light racks so you can choose whichever one you want now are these clipped on properly hard to see hard to see because it's so big on the top I think the bottom parts clipped on but the tops not that one there same thing bottom parts clipped on there top parts not so it's up to you uh, if you want to you know drive around looking like that but oh that's clipped on properly that's good so there you go so you can go to town there and put some you know lights all over it and we'll put the lumen chrome on 
there, crom, lemon crom, um, on there, and then we'll chuck some horns. Uh, let's go, let's go thunder, shall we? The thunder from down under. And then over here, we'll put on a couple more lights. And then discos, no. Uh, let's check out what we got here. Oh, there you go, so... Um, that's nice, you know, I don't mind that. It's sort of like a more modern looking uh, beacon light. Uh, or you can go the standard space one or the bonfire. Let's put that one on there, shall we? The the myth one, whatever it is. Uh, now, for the sides here, let's see. Well, you've got side skirts, but we can't see them because of that big ugly things there. That's that's bad. Anyway, um, no, I don't mind that on the back there. That's pretty cool. Now, wheels, you can change the wheels to whatever you want on the standard ones. I don't think there's anything different to the standard ones. Um, I suppose they look good. The absolute, or probably the American Dreams. Yeah, American Dreams. Let's put the American Dreams on. Oh, it's only got Absolute Fury for there, so we'll go Absolute Fury, Absolute Fury, and there we go. So look, this is what it's meant to look like, but the thing is, is that there's a whole heap of, you've only got this one stock option. You don't have any other option to change colors, um, any other skins, uh, if you, even if, I mean, the thing is, if you wanted to paint it different, it just does not look right. So, I mean, that bloody paint job's going to, that's that's going to be stupid. I'm not going to be able to afford that paint job, I don't think. Or will I? No, I won't. I haven't got enough cash for it. So, see, it just looks... That is ridiculous. Um, if I can't do the proper paint job, I just have to do that one there. So uh, then we got the interior. There's no other options to select in here. I mean, we got the mirrors. We did those. Um, that was the outside thing, and there, which is a mirror which we can't even see. So look, let's confirm this. Uh, man, this is an expensive truck. It is really expensive. That is phenomenally expensive. That's going to go through a large piece of my cash. So, um, stock officer, uh, tra oh, can't do trading. I can't afford it. So, the <laughs> so I can't afford this truck. This is how stupid this is, right? And this is this is ridiculous. This has this. It's stupid. Why would you make a mod that is? It's just so expensive that you can't afford anything. It's just a joke. That's ridiculous. So look, I'm putting this down as being absolutely just stupid because I can't even do a proper review on this. Can't even go and and buy the bloody thing. You know, and I, I you know, you'd think 300 billion would be enough, but no, you've got to have 500 billion, 121 million. Um, so that's that's stupid. Well, look, you know, if the if the maker of this mod's going to be so ridiculous, then hey, I'm going to be ridiculous as well, and this is where I'm going to end this mod, this mod review because it's stupid. I can't even afford to buy it, and I'm not going to re finish reviewing it properly. And um, I think that you know, this is not worth the download. To be honest, I, I, I've never had to do that before in my entire life. Say that it's not worth the download with a Euro Trucks mod. But as I reported as it is, and that's what I said to you guys, I promised I would do. This is this is what um, I'm going I'm doing with this one and this is how I feel. It's not worth the download. No way. Really, how many of you have got five hundred billion dollars to um, to actually spend on us uh, five hundred million dollars to spend on there. Really? Whatever what it you know Anyway, it's, it's just annoys me that there's modders out there that do this kind of crap.
because the who's going to want to download this so it's just one massive big joke the job's not done properly uh, it's not finished it's half assed um, definitely not worth the download guys Right, well, look, that is pretty much it from me. Look, I'm very, very disappointed. Um, I've not ever been this disappointed in a mod at all. Um, I don't think that I ever will be, to be honest. But that's pretty much it from me, guys. Look, this is the Volvo FH750 Longline. Uh, the link will be down below if you wish to download it. Not that I think, not that I could, cons you know, could grasp why you would want to download this. Um, but it's there anyway. But look, keep the shiny side up, the greasy side down, and up 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we have a mod test for spin tires on the Rakery. And below that, we take a look at a, an alpha game for Stargate Network. And if you're a Stargate fan, it's definitely one for you to check out just down there. And if you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers. And remember, Game on!